Our next topic is strain transformation. We have already read the stress transformation that if there is stress acting on certain element then we can transform the stress in other direction and if the uh, part, uh, particle is rotated if the stress element or, or rotated or in other sense there is stress in the oblique section in theta angle so we have transformed the stress using these equations so this was the normal stress this was the tangential stress this was the uh, angle at which the principal plane is acting and this was the angle at which maximum shear stress was acting this was the maximum principal stresses and maximum and minimum principal stresses and this is the maximum shear stresses so this was how the strain was stress was transferred in this condition now we want to apply the same formula we are not going to uh, derive same equations for strain because uh, it is one of the cases it is not as important as the stress and second case that the equations are quite similar to this so there is no uh, reason to derive these equations for strain also so for strain what we can do is for strain let us first draw the element on which we want to find out the strain for which we want to uh, draw the strain transformation so this was our um, element this is our element and here epsilon x strain is applied epsilon y strain is applied and also there is shear strain gamma x y suppose so as a stress element is quite similar uh, plane strain so this strain element strain uh, element is quite similar to this so we can also find out the strain transformation using these equations only right so what is the normal strain so at an angle theta at an angle theta there will be some normal strain epsilon n and there will be some shear strain gamma so we want to find out epsilon n and gamma right so how can we find out sigma n is given by this we have to replace sigma x with epsilon x sigma y with epsilon y and tau shear stress with the half of shear strain so what we are going to replace is what we are going to replace is whenever there is linear strain this type of strain right we will replace whenever there is stress we will replace with strain epsilon x when there is stress in y direction we will replace it with y and when there is and when there is shear stress shear stress we will replace it with we will replace it with half of shear strain half of shear strain right because we are not driving this so you have to remember these things another thing is when there is when there is principal stresses principal stress sigma we will obtain principal strain with sigma 2 we will obtain epsilon 2 and when there is tangential strain sigma t max sigma t max that will be replaced by sigma t max will be replaced by gamma max by 2 right so this will be the replacement to this so this i am writing replacement and then there is sigma t sigma t so sigma t will be replaced with the uh, strain which we want to find out shear strain and that is equal to gamma y 2 right another is the principal plane of the where the stresses are acting and the we and we want to find out the plane where the principal strains are acting so sigma theta p will not be replaced with anything that will be only theta p and theta s will also be replaced with only theta s but these are different these are different this is the plane of principal stress this is the plane of principal strain this is the plane where the maximum shear stress is acting and this is the plane where maximum shear strain is acting 
so this will be the replacement to this equation and we will get our uh, strain transformation equation right so uh, we are going to study the strain transformation equation strain transformation equations strain transformation equations this we are going to study right so let us find out the normal strain this epsilon n normal strain at an angle theta so epsilon n this will be equal to sigma x plus sigma y epsilon x plus epsilon y by 2 minus epsilon x minus epsilon y 2 epsilon x minus epsilon y by 2 cos 2 theta cos 2 theta minus tau tau will be replaced with tau uh, gamma x y by 2 so this will be minus gamma x y by 2 sin 2 theta because we are taking the x y plane that is why we have written here x y this is also tau x y you can also write here tau x y because this is also acting at x y plane now sigma t tangential stress here it is tangential strain gamma so sigma t is replaced by gamma by 2 so you can write gamma by 2 must be equal to minus epsilon x minus epsilon y by 2 sin 2 theta plus tau is gamma x y by 2 cos 2 theta this is the shear strain at a point at a plane of angle theta now tan 2 theta p so tan 2 theta p will be equal to 2 tau 2 tau now tau is replaced with gamma x y by 2 so this is gamma x y by 2 divided by sigma x minus sigma y so this will be equal to gamma x y by sigma x minus sigma y this is our tan 2 theta p principal plane where the strain, principal strains are acting the planes of principal strains now planes of maximum shear strains so tan 2 theta s will be equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 tau 2 times uh, gamma x y by 2 so this will be equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y by gamma x y now sigma 1 sigma 2 is the principal stresses so convert it into principal strain so principal strains will be equal to epsilon 1 epsilon 2 will be equal to epsilon 1 epsilon will, will be equal to epsilon x plus epsilon y by 2 epsilon x plus epsilon y by 2 plus minus under the root epsilon x minus epsilon y by 2 whole scale plus tau scale gamma x y by 2 whole scale this is our principal strains and the maximum shear stress is this so what is maximum uh, strain maximum shear strain so that will be equal to tau max by 2 because sigma t max is replaced with gamma max by 2 so gamma max by 2 and that will be equal to under the root sigma x is epsilon x minus epsilon y by 2 whole scale plus shear stress is replaced by the gamma x y by 2 whole scale so these are the strain transformation equations for which we can find out the strain it at any angle to the reference planes right and then we can find out the principal the angle of principal strain the angle of shear strain 
also you can find out the magnitude of uh, principal strains both of the minor and major principal strains and also the maximum shear strain so by this equation we can find out all the things so this equation can be directly used in numericals